Trees and utility poles are located very often very close to the roads and unfortunately drivers make mistakes near these trees or the utility poles causing serious accidents with fatalities or serious injuries. In the United States alone more than 1,000 people are killed every year impacting utility poles. These impacts are violent because it is a single point of an impact resulting in very, very violent results at even 80 kilometers an hour. The result could be a fatality. You could drive the engine block into the back seat of the car. Really, there's not been a good solution to this for these products because a lot of them could not be made breakaway until today. Barrier Systems has developed a product called the Raptor System. The Raptor System initially was introduced in New Zealand, and this shows you the difference of 80 kilometers an hour in the results for the people, the occupants inside these cars, impacting the Raptor System instead of that single point tree or utility pole. The difference is significant in the consequences for the people inside the vehicle. The resulting reduction in deceleration forces would allow people to survive an accident into these trees or these poles that otherwise would have killed them. The concept of this Raptor is fairly simple. The system itself is designed to shield either has poles or trees that would be up to 300 millimeters in diameter with the standard three model 300. The model 600 adds a spacer that allows you to shield these hazards that are up to 600 millimeters in diameter. The system is very, very simple. Um, the components involved are two sides that are filled with a foam material. These are placed on either side of the post. There is a connecting piece, some anchor bolts, and if there is a, a wider system needed to go to that 600 millimeter diameter, a spacer and another connection piece is included. The installation is extremely quick. The crew will come out to the site, level the ground, make sure the ground is smooth, bring in a vehicle, drop in the two sections on either side of the pole or the tree, and snug it up against that pole or the tree. They would then bring a cable out, connect the system together, tighten it up uh, to align up the holes. And if it is a 300 model 300 or 300 millimeter diameter tree, they would then just put in a, the spacer bar, connect it up with the anchor bolts, tighten it down. If they needed to go to a wider system to handle the 600 millimeter wide um, diameter hazard, they would add that piece, once again add the connector bar and anchor it down. This entire installation could be done extremely quickly. In fact, a two-man crew, once the materials have been dropped at site, could finish complete this installation in, well, in, in less than six minutes, as, as this video, this time-lapse video will show you. These gentlemen, uh, the units have been dropped in place. They're arriving on site. They're going to push the units up against. This is the, obviously the wider system with the wider spacer to 600 millimeter. They put the strap around to tighten it up to line up their holes. They brought out their spacer. They brought out their connector bar, connecting, putting the anchors in. They now are going to proceed to tighten down the um, the anchors that they've placed uh, on the on either side of the um, the, the the sections, tightening it down. Uh, once they've got all the anchors in place, they're going to remove the strap. Um, Make sure everything is in place. Do one more last double check, and in this case, less than six minutes, be finished with the complete installation of that product that now is going to protect people from impacting that rigid object. Again, the nice thing also is after an impact, because this is a modular unit, they could just remove one half of those sections, the damage section, and reuse the other side to reduce the cost for repair. Um, the installations, typical installations, again, any hazard that's located close to the road, again, that could not be modified in some way, shape, or form to make it less uh, rigid, either might make it a breakaway, 
or some type of a, a different structure. Um, and it is located close to the road. Here's a good example. This is a utility pole located close to the road. Um, in this case, you know, somebody decided the solution was to throw a couple of sand barrels out in front, which will basically do nothing to, to shield that hazard or protect motorists from an impact. Barrels are not designed to be used in that fashion, uh, but somebody thought maybe something was better than nothing. Maybe, maybe not. Certainly a, a far better way of handling that, that particular installation, as this simulation would show you, would be to place the Raptor at that location. Now again, shielding people from impacting it in, in this obviously very dangerous gore type of uh, an exit area. That pole is, um, ideally you should remove it if you could or make a breakaway, but if you can't, your next option is to go ahead and put some kind of protection around. Here's another example. Once again, the best solution here would be to get rid of that pole if you can, but you can see it's uh, part of a, a series of, of poles used to hold up those high, the, uh, high tension wires. And um, in this case, they throw in a couple of delineators on either side. That will not help the motorist who makes the mistake at that site. In this case, a far better solution again was to bring out the Raptor, drop in the two pieces. This is a wider hazard, so they put in the extra spacer. They use the connector bars, strap the system together, tighten down the bolts, and now they actually have protection for motorists from impacting that pole that could not be removed from that site. In the Raptor system, give you a whole lot more protection than anything else that's available in the marketplace and ideally utilizing this product can eliminate some of these fatalities not going to eliminate the accident but eliminate the fatalities and reduce the unnecessary death on the roads around the world from people impacting into poles or what we call a killer tree you wouldn't shield every tree in the world but again if you know a tree is a has killed people in the past has been involved in accidents in the past Maybe they didn't kill anybody. Maybe it's time to put some protection around that tree if you cannot remove the tree and to make sure that there's not a, a serious fatality the next time somebody does impact, which will happen because people will always make mistakes on the roads. So the Raptor system from Barrier Systems, again, it's a new product being introduced. The system is a non-redirective according to NCHRP 350, been tested to NCHRP 350 test level one. It uh, is designed again for hazards as wide as 610 millimeters in, in diameter. The, um, the height of the system is about uh, 1.1 meters high, 41 inches high. And, uh, and again, the nice thing when it is impacted, you could go out and do a repair just for replacing components and not even necessarily to replace the entire system. So the Raptor system is, is designed to help to reduce the severity of impacts into those trees and those poles that are located or close to the road around the world and to start to reduce some of the unnecessary death on those roads and make our roads safer.